I'm a Canadian girl, so we just had Canadian Thanksgiving and we loaded up on the sweets and the carbs. So I feel like my body's just ready for a bit of a break. So if you're feeling the same way, you're ready to give your, yourself a little bit of a reset, hopefully you'll find today's meal prep helpful. I have, check it out. I have a document here and it has all of the ingredients, all the recipes, everything that you need if you wanna recreate any of these recipes or just do the whole thing along with me. I wanna get this done in like an hour. So we are making two protein options. We have one carb, which isn't really a carb, it's a spaghetti squash, so like a carb replacement. And then I'm also gonna be making some homemade pumpkin pie protein bars. So those will be really good if you just want an easy snack that you can grab at any point and has lots of protein. Let's get cooking. Okay, I should probably tell you what we're cooking today. I keep forgetting to do this in my videos. Okay, so we're gonna be making a lovely chicken piccata recipe. Um, a little bit of Italian in me. I'm also gonna be doing an Asian chicken um, lettuce wraps. I guess, lettuce bowls, little lettuce cups with the meat inside of it. I have zero Asian in me. I just, I appreciate all flavors of the world. So those are gonna be the two proteins that we're making. And then we're gonna be doing like a spaghetti squash, which is super easy. You can kind of interchange it between both recipes if you want. So I will show you everything now that it's all on the counter. We have my ground turkey was frozen, so I just have it in some water so it can thaw. Have some chicken. I like to just make this as simple and as easy as possible. And if I can give you any advice, it's just um, have everything in the right spot, have it all out before you get started so that you're not reaching and grabbing things as you go. If it's all right there, it will be so much easier for you. So. You're gonna start with the spaghetti squash because this is probably gonna take close to an hour to cook. Um, usually you cook spaghetti squash at like 400, but because I wanna cook my protein bars at the same time, we're gonna do it at 350, so this will take about an hour. So I wanna get that in the oven right away. with the cut side down like that. I'm just gonna pop that in the oven and it's probably gonna take about 40 minutes and then I will give them a little flip and let them brown and crisp up on the top for another 10, maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, now that the squash is in the oven, we're gonna quickly bake up some protein squares. And these are more like a muffin texture or like a cake texture. I've been making similar protein bars for a long time and they're a really good go-to snack option. They're not super sweet, but they're just enough sweetness to like, you know. These bars are so easy to make. You literally just mix everything in one big bowl, dump it into a square baking dish like this and just put it in the oven for 40 minutes. I'll show you how easy they are to make. Okay, we're gonna start with one cup of pumpkin puree, and I have mine in a glass container because I never use all of the pumpkin when I open a can. So this has been in my fridge for a couple of days, so I'm glad that I'm making these and can use up the rest of my pumpkin. One cup. There's nothing bad in these, they're so healthy. I'm gonna do half a cup of egg whites three eggs, two, three. And if you have kids in your house like me, you probably have lots of these applesauce pouches. Um, you're gonna use two pouches. These just help to keep things moist. They add a little bit of sweetness, but it's mostly just to help. Help it from drying out. Vanilla. Good. Now for the sweetener, I have also made these with coconut sugar. I'm gonna use honey today, so we're gonna use a third cup. But if you'd rather use coconut sugar, 
that would be fine as well. I love that we don't have to use two different bowls. We're literally just using one bowl for the wet and the dry ingredients. Two cups of oats. Protein powder, I recommend an isolate whey protein powder. It's a little bit higher in protein than just um, like a regular whey protein. I always look for isolate. Three scoops. Cinnamon. Two teaspoons. Some nutmeg, and you just want a dash of this, like so. And just a little bit of salt. Good. Mixy mix everything together. Okay, that looks good. Butter, just rub it around. See that? It's quite liquidy. Pour it. I'm gonna do this in a different bowl. Pour it right in there. Okay, you're just gonna pop that in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. Oh my goodness, I forgot the baking powder. Dang it. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. All right, we are going to work on the chicken piccata next, just while the other things are baking. So this recipe is actually not my own recipe. I got it from Downshiftology. So I'm gonna just link that recipe in the description below. And also in this document, I've linked the recipe. I am also like, Working up the biggest sweat right now, so I have to get this sweater off and I'm gonna throw on an apron because I'm dying. You need two chicken breasts, but I actually bought a pack of these little chicken, they're like little cutlets, so they're thinly sliced already, so that is gonna save me some cutting. Recommend buying those if you can find them. Otherwise, you're just gonna cut your chicken breasts in half so they're nice and thin. And then we have to mix the flour, Parmesan, salt, and pepper in a bowl and just dredge the chicken. And then we're gonna cook it on a pan and make a little sauce to go with it. So, pretty easy. Arrowroot, starch, or flour, quarter cup. This is a gluten-free flour. Just helps to thicken things up. And then we need Parmesan. I'm not gonna measure my Parmesan. I just feel like the more the merrier, you know? Almost, almost there, almost there. Okay, while I'm grating this, I'm gonna put some extra in a little bowl because I know I'm gonna want some more to top it when it's all cooked. I'm Italian, I cannot give up my Parmesan, no. Okay, I'm like, not that Italian, clearly, but got enough in me to say I'm Italian. Voila. Benito. Bonito. And then we're just gonna do some salt, pepper, and that's it. And I'm just gonna set this aside. And start chopping up some garlic. Now I'm gonna need garlic in my other recipe, so I'm gonna just chop it all at once. So we need four for this recipe. What is wrong with this garlic? I just bought it. That one's garbage. The garlic peeled. We're gonna get our pan on the stove. While the chicken's cooking, I am going to start chopping up some of my veggies for my second protein, which is the Asian chicken lettuce wraps.
we're just going to pour in some wine, half a cup. How did that get in there? Butter. Chop up some green onion. You really only need one. And this is going to be a topping for our Asian lettuce wraps, along with a little bit of cilantro if you like it, which I do. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to work on my Asian sauce for the ground turkey and orange. We're only going to use the juice without a measuring cup. Quarter cup of poison sauce. Quarter cup of soy sauce. Oh, our protein bars are ready. Be right back. All right, back to the sauce. Two tablespoons of honey. One, two. The juice from one orange. This stuff has the most flavor. It is toasted sesame oil. About one tablespoon of this. Last thing is a little bit of cornstarch. Just about a tablespoon. Oh, and I'm actually gonna just add my green onion and cilantro now because why not? Dump that sauce, that marinade that we made this, right over top. And look at our chicken, guys. Oh, that looks so yummy. Okay, so let that cook for a minute. Okay, that was only like an hour and a half and I got so much accomplished. Everything looks so yummy, I'm gonna show you. Here's the squash. I just have to use two forks and just kinda break it all apart and make it stringy. And then this is the Asian, oh, it's not focusing. There we go. The Asian chicken lettuce wraps. Mine's actually ground turkey, but oh, it looks so good. The sauce is thickened up nice. And then this chicken piccata. I'm gonna just serve that on top of my spaghetti squash noodles. Just gonna put everything into the containers. Oh, and the protein bars. So proud.